at those paint brushes. Buster and his friends are painting the walls in Buster's room today. How exciting! Mommy Bus is bringing them lots of different colored paints. They can paint the wall underneath the window. Hmm, what color should Buster choose? Scout has chosen purple. And Ash has picked red. And Buster, yellow, of course. Let's paint. Oops. Ash adds a red splat to match Scout's. And Buster adds a yellow splat. Awesome. I wonder what Scout is painting first. It's a rocket! Awesome! Cool! Buster's go next. What's he going to paint? A bumblebee! Not on the cabinet, Ash! Now they're having a paint fight. Be careful! That paint is very messy! Oh dear, they're getting paint everywhere! What a mess! Uh-oh, the yellow paint is all over the floor! And now the purple! Yikes! Mommy Bus is wondering what all that noise is. That was so much fun! Uh-oh, they didn't realize they were making such a mess! But Buster has a plan. They can use Ash's hose to clear it up. The water is washing away the paint. Great job, Ash! Oh no! Mommy Bus is coming and they haven't finished clearing up the mess yet! Time to get all cleaned up! Ash is hosing Buster down. Splash! Now it's Scout's turn. And that looks like so much fun! And finally, Ash. Well done, everyone! Wow! The room looks completely clean! Time for Ash and Scout to head off home. Oops! Well, not completely clean. Buster and Grandpa are going shopping at the supermarket. Here's the shopping list. Carrots, sweet corn, and a new soccer ball. Buster can't wait to get the new soccer ball. But Grandpa reminds him they need to get everything else on the list first. Starting with the carrots. Buster races off. There they are. Nice work, Buster. Next, sweet corn. He's found them. Whoops. Careful, Buster. All the tins might fall over. Phew. Great save, Grandpa. Next, yay, the soccer ball. Buster is zooming ahead to find the soccer ball. But wait, Grandpa's been left behind. He can't find him. Oh no, Buster and Grandpa can't see each other. Buster is searching and searching, but it's no good. Poor Buster is lost and getting worried. Look, it's Ash and his mommy. They can help him get back to Grandpa. At last! Buster is back safely with Grandpa. He knows he shouldn't have run so far ahead. He's sorry, but Grandpa forgives him. And here's the new soccer ball. Hooray! It's time for Buster to go to school. He mustn't forget his packed lunch. There's Scout. They don't want to be late. But who's this? A little fire truck? Buster is waving hello. At school, the teacher has a surprise. This is Ash. He's the new kid in school. 
He's going to be joining their class. Ash is going to Buster because he waved hello. He's so excited to have made a new friend already. Now today, the children are going to learn about parking. The teacher is showing them how to do it properly. Now it's their turn to try. Scout's got it. And Buster. Oh. Ash is sticking really close to his new friend. He's following Buster wherever he goes. He doesn't understand Buster is trying to park. Oh dear, I think he's got on Buster's nerves a bit. Buster wanted some space, but Ash didn't understand. At break time, Buster and Scout are playing. Aw, poor Ash has no friends to play with. But Buster and Scout have an idea. Ash can play with them. They're friends now after all. Now they're all playing together. Whoa, good shot, Ash. It's so nice to make new friends. Hey, look, it's Buster the bus. He's having a day on the beach. Doesn't it look lovely? Oh no, Buster, your wheels are stuck in the sand. That wasn't part of the plan. Oh. Look at Digger. He's not getting stuck thanks to his caterpillar tracks. And who's this? Sandy the seagull. I wonder if Sandy will be able to help. I think she wants you to follow her, Buster. That's it, Buster. If you move one wheel at a time, you won't get stuck again. Digger's digging a hole. Oh, look out, Buster. What's that? A bucket and a spade? I think Sandy wants you to help her build a sand castle. Just a bit more sand. Turn it over and there, a sand castle. Well done, Buster. Isn't it pretty? Good job. Oh, wow. Digger's sand castle is amazing. It's much bigger than yours. He's, wait, Buster, look out. Mind the hole. At least Digger's here to get you out again. I think Digger's really proud of his brilliant sand castle. Oh no, Sandy, don't land there. You'll destroy the sand castle. I don't think Sandy realizes what she's doing. Oh no, it's just a big pile of sand now. And what's that noise? A wave! Watch out, guys! Poor Digger. But wait, not all the sand castles have been destroyed. Buster's little castle is still standing. And now it's the biggest and the best, thanks to Sandy. Goodbye, everyone. Hope you had a great fun day at the beach. It's Buster the bus. I wonder what he's up to today. An Easter egg hunt. There's one Easter egg. Nice work, Buster. There's another. That's two. And three, four, five, so many. Whoa, that's a lot of Easter eggs, Buster. Mmm, they look yummy. Buster loves chocolate eggs. Tasty. Buster's eating as many eggs as he wants. Good morning, Buster. Oh dear, Buster looks very unwell. He has a tummy ache. I think he ate too many chocolate Easter eggs. Here comes Scout the car to see if Buster's okay. He looks really sick. Poor Buster. Scout is going to take him to Amber the ambulance. She'll be able to help. There's Amber. She always knows how to make little buses feel better. Hmm. Hmm. Yup, Buster is sick all right. But luckily, Amber has some medicine to help. Open wide, Buster. That'll make you feel better. But that's not all. 
If Buster wants to fix his tummy ache, he needs to eat some healthy food, like an apple. <laughs> there! That'll soothe Buster's grumbly tummy. <laughs> the next day, Buster is feeling much better. Oh, hey! It's Diggly the Digger. What's Diggly got there? Uh-oh! I think Buster has had enough chocolate Easter eggs for one Easter. <laughs> I wonder what Buster and Digger are doing. <laughs> wow! Who painted that? Looks like you guys want some ice cream. <gasps> Digger, <laughs> that is one big ice cream cone. Oh look, here comes Iggy, the ice cream truck. Buster and Digger want Iggy to help make them the giant ice cream. Now let's see. Oh, cherries. Mmm, that's a delicious flavor. Let's pick that. Wow, look at all that ice cream. Right, next we need a blue ice cream. Blueberries? Perfect! <laughs> that is looking so good, Buster! Okay, yellow next. Bananas, good choice! <laughs> you want more? Okay, this has to be the last flavor, otherwise it will be too big. Apple it is. This is going to be one tasty ice cream. <laughs> one last effort, Iggy. That ice cream looks quite wobbly. Steady as you go, Digger. Robin has come to get Scout so that she can find out what Buster and Digger have made for her birthday. You better follow Robin, Scout. Happy birthday, Scout! <laughs> that is the biggest ice cream I have ever seen! Oh no, Digger! Watch out, Scout! That was close. <laughs> Blow the candle out, Scout. Now you can all tuck into the ice cream. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> oh, wow! Buster's become a rocket, and he's going to space! Five, four, three, two, <laughs> One! Blast off! <laughs> Look at Buster go! All right! You did it, Buster! You're in outer space! What a cool place to be! I think Buster wants to go space exploring! Look at that! It's a red planet! Let's go in for a closer look! Hey there, little space buddy! I bet that alien has never seen a bus before! Where are you off to now, Buster? Oh, a yellow planet! It's so beautiful with that huge ring around it! Look at that! Buster's gonna go for a drive around the ring! Let's see how fast you can go! Whoa! That was fun! <laughs> What's Buster seen now? It's a purple planet. Isn't it huge? Whoa! Round and round the planets Buster goes. Round the purple planet, the yellow planet, and the red planet. But wait! Oh no! A blue planet! Buster's going too fast! I think he's going to hit it! Oh, thank goodness. It was only a dream. You're okay, Buster. Look, Scout is using her telescope to look at the night sky. Take a look, Buster. There's the purple planet, the yellow planet, and the red planet. Hello, little space buddy. Hello, Tony truck. Hmm, Tony doesn't seem to be keeping an eye on the road. Oh, look, it's Frankie the frog. He's come to say hello. Watch out, Tony. Phew, that was a close one. Oh, no. It looks like Tony has lost some of his packages. You have to be careful next time, Frankie. Tony almost hit you. Ha, ah, what a cheeky frog. Look, 
Tony has left behind some of his packages. It looks like a bottle of bubble bath. It looks like Frankie has had a great idea. Ha, look at him go. Where are you rolling off to now? There's bubbles coming out of the bottle. Hey, look, it's Buster the bus. I think Buster wants to see where Frankie is rolling. There's even more bubbles now. It looks like you've got a pair of bubbly glasses, Buster. Hey, Scout, why don't you come along too on this bubbly adventure? Scout wants to play in the bubbles. The bubbles are flying everywhere. Oh, I like your hat, Scout. <laughs> you look funny with a mustache, Buster. It looks like Frankie might be heading for that lake. I think this cheeky frog has had an idea. Into the lake he rolls. Look at him go. Bubbles everywhere. Wow. He's made a bubble bath. Look at all the bubbly bubbles bubbling. Go on, Buster and Scout. Jump on in. They're having so much fun playing in the bubbles. <laughs> it looks like Frankie is the bubble captain of Bubble Lake. Here comes Scout with a gigantic bubble splash. So many bubbles everywhere. Oh, where's Frankie gone? <laughs> there he is. <gasps> it's time to go, I think. Bye-bye, Frankie. Thanks for a bubbly adventure. <laughs> it's a windy day at the park. Buster and Daddy Bus are here for a fun day out. Daddy Bus has a surprise for Buster. What could it be? Oh, look, it's a kite. Buster gets ready to fly it. Daddy Bus pushes it up into the air. Wow, it's flying so high. Well done, Buster. Look, it's Monty, the hot air balloon. Oh no, a big gust of wind has blown the kite away. It's caught on Monty, and he hasn't noticed. Don't worry, Buster. Daddy has a plan. Oops! Watch out, Daddy Bus! Whoa! Great header! Go, Buster! Bandit and Ash look very confused. Where are they going? Buster is trying to get Monty's attention. But he's not looking where he's going. Watch out! Oh, no! Buster has driven straight into a muddy puddle. He's stuck in the mud. Daddy heaves him out. Great teamwork, guys. Uh-oh, a tree has fallen across the road. But that won't stop them. Daddy Bus flies right over the log. And Buster slides straight underneath. Wow, that was awesome. Quick, there's Monty. Looks like Daddy Bus has an idea. There's a huge pile of mud and they're splashing through it. What are they doing? They've drawn a picture of their kite in the mud and Monty has finally noticed the kite wrapped around him. Oops. Buster gets his kite back. Thank you, Monty. Hold tight, Buster. Phew. That was a close one. Oh, no. Bandit Bus is stealing from the candy shop. Stop, thief. It's Otis the police car. He's come to investigate the case of the stolen candy. Bandit Bus went that way, Otis. I don't think Otis saw Bandit Bus get away. Great idea, Otis. Follow the trail of candy. I think we know who it will lead to. There he is. Stop, thief. Look, Otis, some more clues. Keep following the trail. Wow, Bandit Bus is dropping a lot of candy. Oh, hey, Buster. Oh, I don't think that candy is for you. Buster loves candy. Oh, dear, the trail of candy has led straight to Buster the bus. Otis must think that Buster is the thief. You've made a mistake, Otis. Buster is innocent. Poor Buster, what are you going to do? Otis is putting Buster in jail. Oh, Buster. Oh, here comes Scout. Maybe Scout can help Buster get out of jail. You have to help Buster, Scout. Prove he's innocent. That's right, Scout. Follow the trail of candy to find the truth. 
Scout the detective is on the case. <gasps> there he is. Bandit Bus caught red-handed stealing from the toy shop. You're going down this time, Bandit Bus. Stop right there, in the name of the law. You're under arrest. It's time to put things right and get Buster out of jail. Come on out, Buster, you're innocent. And in goes Bandit the Bus. Thanks, Scout, you're a great detective. If it wasn't for you, Buster would still be locked up. I'm sorry, Bandit Bus, but you had it coming. Stealing is against the law. Well done, Otis. Bye, it's Bandit. It's a bright new morning. <gasps> and Buster looks so excited. It's Diggly's birthday today. Buster can't wait to go to the party. Buster eats breakfast as quick as he can. Look, it's Scout. She's got Diggly's present ready and wrapped up. How exciting. Oh no, Buster accidentally ran over the present. It's flat as a pancake. Poor Buster. It was just an accident. But wait, I think Buster has an idea. Look, Scout's grabbing that old cardboard box. And Buster's grabbing that bowl of sweets. There's the wooden stick, too. <laughs> and the arts and crafts box. I wonder what they're up to. It's another present. <laughs> but what could be inside? Now Buster and Scout are speeding off to Diggly's party. They mustn't be late. Diggly is waiting. His party has already started. But phew, there's Scout and Buster. They made it. <laughs> Diggly's opening his present, and... Whoa! It's a pinata! It's Diggly's birthday, so he gets to hit it with the stick. Off he goes! One more smack! Look at all those sweets! An amazing birthday present! Today, Buster and his family are having a picnic. Buster is so excited! <laughs> Mommy Bus is off to get Grandpa. And while she's gone, Buster and Bandit need to prepare the picnic. First, they have to lay down the picnic blanket. Whoa, the wind has blown it away! It looks like a cape! It's Super Buster! Bandit wants a cape too! And it's a tug of war. Buster is imagining that he is a superhero. Super Buster flying through the sky. <gasps> it's bad guy Bandit. Mwahaha! He's stolen the picnic. Oh no! Super Buster has got to save it. They are chasing through the sky. Go, Super Buster, go! You can catch him. Oh no! Bad Guy Bandit is aiming at Super Buster with his laser shapes! But Super Buster is too fast! Wow, look at him go! Hooray! Super Buster has saved the picnic! But what is that? It's a giant blue laser ball! Oh no! What is Super Buster going to do? Aha! He's using the flagpole as a bat. Bring it on, bad guy bandit. Great shot, Super Buster. Whack. Wow, that was such a fun game. But oh no, they've made a huge mess. And Mommy Bus and Grandpa are on their way. What are they going to do? Quick. They've got to clear it up. As superheroes, of course. Super Buster and Bad Guy Bandit are clearing up the city. 
<laughs> Even superheroes need to clean up after themselves. <laughs> Just in time! Great teamwork, guys! Yum, yum. Delicious. And all that superhero work has left them very hungry. Look, it's Buster the Bus. But now he's a fish in the big blue sea. And look, there's a tiny baby shark. That crab is snapping his claws just like the baby shark's jaws. Buster wants to play with them. And look there, that must be the mommy shark. She's dancing with the crab. She looks like she's having so much fun. What fun! Look, it's Sham the shark. He must be the daddy. Now Sham is dancing excitedly with the crab. Buster is happy to see his old friend. Who's this? Glasses? Wrinkles? This must be Grandma Shark. <laughs> She's having a great time dancing with the crab, too. <laughs> Look at her go. And this happy shark with a mustache? That must be Grandpa Shark. <laughs> He's having such a good time. Now Buster has met the whole shark family. Now Sham and Buster are playing together in the ocean. They're swimming through the coral and then up towards the surface. Aw, but the poor little crab can't keep up. Look at Buster and Sham jump gracefully out of the water. But the little crab is having a tough time. Up Buster jumps. Whoa! Watch out, little crab! Aw, Buster wants to play together. Now all three of them can swim together. Oh dear, Buster looks all worn out. Sham and the crab are saying goodbye. They've had such a nice day. Oh, it was all a dream. Or was it? There's the little crab again. Gather round and hear the fairy tale of Buster the Wizard. There's Buster the Bus. Looks like he's driving through the enchanted forest. But wait, what's this by the road? I think it's a spell book. Wow, Buster can use that to do magic. Look. It's Scout, Terry, and Jesse in the town square. I think Buster's going to try casting some spells. Let's see now. Whoa! A wizard's hat! Buster really is doing magic. I wonder what spell Buster can use to help Terry. Abracadabra! Wow! Buster made the plants grow. Nice work, wizard Buster. <laughs> what other spells are in the spell book? The B spell? <laughs> oh, look! Buster turned Scout into a bee! She's having so much fun flying around! I think Jessie wants to fly too! What spells are there for that? Bubbles? <laughs> Cool! Jessie's floating around in her own bubble. Nice work, Wizard Buster! Oh, look, he's very sleepy. Time for a nap, Buster. Uh-oh, I think something's gone wrong. The magic is out of control. Quick, Buster, you've got to put everything back to normal. Hurry, Buster! All the spells are canceled. But I don't think Buster's friends are very happy with him. Buster's putting the spell book back where he found it. And that's the end of the fairy tale of Buster the Wizard. Buster and Mommy Bus are visiting Terry's farm today. <laughs> wow, the farm is so cool. Buster is so excited. <laughs> Oh, look! An adorable litter of puppies! How cute! Buster has spotted a soccer ball. He loves soccer. 
<laughs> Mommy Bus is here to check that all the puppies are healthy, but Buster has other ideas. He wants to go and play some soccer on the farm. <laughs> what was that? One of the puppies followed Buster outside. Looks like she wants to play. Hmm, but Buster wants to play by himself. There she is again. The puppy won't stop following him. Buster is throwing the puppy a stick to distract her. That will make her leave. Nope, that didn't work. And now the puppy has taken the soccer ball. What a cheeky little puppy. Aha! Finally Buster got his ball back. But the puppy still wants to play. Stay there, puppy. Buster is hiding behind a stack of hay bales. <gasps> Not again! Maybe Buster can lose the puppy in the cornfield. The puppy is sad she can't find him, but Buster's plan worked. Oh no! How did that puppy get up there? She's going to fall! <gasps> And Mommy Bus and Terry haven't noticed. <laughs> quick, Buster, quick! Go, Buster! Phew! He saved the puppy! That was a close one! Oh. Mommy Bus has noticed a puppy is missing. But don't worry, Buster has brought her home. <laughs> what a fun day at the farm! <laughs> Uh-oh, not again! <gasps> what a bright, sunny day it is! Oh, look! It's Diggly and CJ! They're filling up CJ's mixer with water! <laughs> what are they both up to? Look! There's Buster and Scout! Phew! What a hot day! I wonder what they can do to cool down! Whoa! Diggly and CJ are making colorful water balloons! <gasps> Looks like Buster and Scout have got an idea! a water balloon fight. Ready, set, off they go. <laughs> what are Buster and Scout planning? Oh look, Diggly and CJ are sneaking up behind them. And splash! Uh-oh, Scout has been hit. And bullseye! Now things are getting interesting. Who is that hiding in the bushes? <laughs> it's Scout. Mm. But she managed to hide just in time. It's CJ's second chance. But look, here comes Buster. He splashes CJ from behind. Quit, Buster! Oh no! CJ and Diggly have Buster and Scout cornered. What are they going to do? Aha! An umbrella! I think Buster's got a plan. CJ and Diggly take aim, but Buster is keeping dry with the umbrella. Great idea, Buster. Uh oh, Diggly and CJ are filling up again. Whoa! Look at the size of that balloon! Looks like Buster is in trouble. Wow! Nice shot, Buster! <laughs> that was so much fun! Hey there, Buster! That's a great looking shark poster you've got there! Oh, Buster's looking really tired! I wonder what he'll dream about! What's this? Fins? Coral? Oh, wow, Buster! I think you're under the sea! 
Look at Buster go! The ocean is his new playground. Isn't it beautiful? Go for it, Buster! Jump into the sky! This is so much fun! Wait, what's that? It's a huge fish! Quick, Buster, hide! Oh, look, he's not big at all. He's tiny. It's okay, Buster. Nothing to worry about. But what's this? It's Sham the Shark. Look at all those sharp teeth. Hide, Buster. Quit. Oh, no. Buster has spun around the little fish, and now he's heading right for the shark. Sham the Shark seems very keen to make friends. But it looks like everyone is scared of him. Quick, little fish. Hide next to Buster. Wait a minute, the shark looks sad. Really sad. You know, Buster, I think that Sham is lonely. He was just being friendly. He doesn't have any friends. That's right, Buster. Go and say hello to him. See, he just wants someone to play with. Buster and Sham are having so much fun. The ocean is a great place to play chase and to make new friends. Look at them go! Oh, Buster's waking up! It was only a dream! You don't have any fins now, Buster. You're back to being a bus again. What a lovely underwater adventure! It's Jessie the Jeep. She's got a cake. Wow, that looks tasty. But here comes Bandit Bus. He looks mischievous. Oh no! He's eating Jessie's cake! That's not fair at all! Poor Jessie! There's Buster the bus! And there's Bandit, driving too fast! Look! Buster's gone to play with Scout! He's given her a soccer ball as a present! Look at Scout go! Look at that! Diggly is building a colorful tower! But here comes Bandit! I wonder what that awful bully is up to! Oh no! He's knocked over Diggly's tower! Bandit is a menace! Uh oh! He's seen Scout's ball! Bandit is stealing the ball for himself! What a bully! Buster wants to do something. Poor Scout is really upset. Buster wants to help his friend. He's going to stand up to Bandit and get him to give the ball back. I don't think Bandit will listen to Buster. He's going to bully him instead. It's not fair. But wait, Jessie is standing beside Buster. Scout is here to help too. They're all fed up with Bandit being a bully. There's Otis, the police car, enjoying an ice cream. Oops, Bandit has backed into Otis. Otis looks mad. Serves Bandit right, being mean to everyone. Now Buster, Scout, and Jessie can play soccer in peace. Oh, what a beautiful day it is today. I think Buster is feeling a little hot. Hey, look! Scout has the right idea. An ice cream will cool you down, Buster. And it looks delicious. Do you hear that, Buster? It sounds like Iggy, the ice cream van. Hey there, Iggy. Buster wants an ice cream. Look at all the different flavors. Chocolate chip, vanilla sprinkles, triple towered scoop, raspberry swirl, strawberry and vanilla with chocolate sauce. <laughs> Looks like Buster has made his choice. Wow, thanks, Iggy. Oh, that was quick, Buster. You enjoyed that, didn't you? Another one already? Oh, hey, Digger. He's joined the queue for an ice cream. Another ice cream coming right up. Buster, you really want a third ice cream? You're not the only one who wants ice cream, Buster. Mmm, yummy. A vanilla with a chocolate flake. The queue is getting bigger. And Buster wants a fourth ice cream. 
<laughs> Yummy, this one has a cherry on top. Okay now, Buster, I think you've had enough. Digger and Billy are waiting patiently for their ice cream, and you are being greedy. <laughs> Looks like Iggy has had enough of Buster's behavior. Ha! <laughs> you want more ice cream, Buster? Here you go! Ha <laughs> Look! It's Buster the ice cream! It's definitely still missing some toppings, though. A tasty chocolate flake and a cherry. Yummy! <laughs> that has definitely cooled Buster down. Ha! <laughs> Billy is enjoying that cherry. And Digger is tucking into a big scoop off the top. This Buster ice cream is really tasty. I'm sure Buster will think twice before he's greedy again. Thanks, Iggy, for some wonderful tasty ice cream. Ice cream really is as good as it looks. It's a cold winter's night. What's Buster up to? Oh, wow, a drawing of some fireworks. Buster's so excited because tonight he's going to a real fireworks display. But wait, he's forgotten something. A nice warm hat. There, now it's time to go and watch the fireworks. Oh, what's that? Fireworks make loud noises. Oh dear. They frightened Buster. He doesn't like loud noises. Aw, oh, poor Buster. He's shaking. What's Mommy doing? Oh, Buster's toy car makes loud noises. But that's not scary. What's that loud noise? It's Grandpa with a soccer whistle. Buster loves soccer. He doesn't oh. mind that loud noise either. <laughs> What's that loud noise? Huh? Oh, it's popcorn popping. Buster <laughs> loves popcorn. He doesn't mind that noise. Wow, the fireworks are so pretty. <sighs> Maybe loud noises aren't so bad after all. Buster's going to give it another try. Whoa! Look at those colorful fireworks! It's the end of school, and it's time for Scout to return the school flower that she'd been taking care of. Now whose turn is it to take it home and care for it? Hooray! It's Buster's turn! Buster is going really slowly. He wants to make sure he takes good care of the flower. It's time to say goodbye to Scout and Ash. Whoa! Careful, Buster! That was a close one. Buster is so happy to be caring for the flower that he's drawn a picture of it. He's even brought it to dinner. <laughs> I don't think it eats carrots, Buster. It needs water instead to make sure it grows strong. But now it's time for bed. Good night, flower. The next morning, Buster is super excited for school. Careful, Buster. You don't want to knock the flower. Oh, no. The flower has smashed. What is Buster doing? He's hiding it because he's afraid he'll get in trouble. Hmm, Buster is pretending to be ill. But he doesn't have a temperature. Oh, now Mommy understands. Buster doesn't want to go to school with the smashed flower. He thinks he's let everyone down. But Mommy knows what to do. They'll put the flower in a brand new pot. It looks even better than before. There, good as new. Buster returns the flower to class. Everyone is really impressed with its lovely new pot. Good job, Buster. Now it's Ash's turn to take care of it. Hooray! Hooray, it's time for the big race. 
Diggly, Scout, and Buster are going to race to see who wins the cup. Oh, Bandit is racing too. Ready, steady, go! And they're off! Buster's driving as fast as he can, and his wheels are going round and round. Bandit's in the lead, but Buster is passing him. Hooray! Buster's in the lead! Everyone is driving really fast. Look out! Scout is speeding ahead. Scout's taking the lead. Uh-oh, a low bridge. Little Scout can fit under, but everyone else will have to go around. Buster and Diggly have reached a river. How will they cross? Nice! Diggly made a bridge. It was a shortcut. Now they've caught up with Scout. There's Bandit. Oh no! That's an oil barrel spilling all over the road. Scout and Diggly are sliding on the oil. What a cheater. But Buster is still racing. He's catching Bandit. Bandit's skidding. He ended up in that pond. Serves him right. There's the finish line. Buster speeding ahead. Hooray! Buster won! And as his prize, he can have a nice tasty ice cream. And of course, the winner's cup. It's Buster the bus. But whoa, he sure looks sleepy. He's driving off the road. Oh no! Buster's ended up in the muddy puddle. And now he's stuck. Poor Buster. How will he get out? The next morning, Scout visits Buster's garage. But, oh dear, Buster is nowhere to be found. Where is he? But look, muddy tracks. Scout is following them to see where Buster is. There's Diggly the Digger. Scout tells him Buster's missing. They need to find him. Scout and Diggly search together. Look, a trail of sweets. Where could it lead? Whoa, what was that? Aw, phew, it's just Robin. Scout explains that Buster is missing, and Robin agrees to help search too. They'll have a better chance of finding him if they work together. Poor Buster is lonely and cold. Scout looks behind the trees. Diggly looks beside the rocks. What's Robin seen? Some more tire tracks. Look, there's Buster. He's stuck in the mud. He's been here so long. Robin goes to tell Diggly and Scout that he's found oh. Buster. He's just over the hill. There's poor Buster. <laughs> Diggly and Scout can help. Working together, Diggly and Scout pull Buster out of the muddy puddle. Huh? Now Buster is free at last. He's very grateful to his friends for rescuing him. Now he's back, Whoa. safe and sound in his garage. Here comes Buster the bus and Terry Tractor. It looks like they're about to have a race. Buster looks very confident, doesn't he? Terry doesn't seem too impressed. I wonder who's going to win. Here we go. Ready, set, go! And they're away. Buster races into the lead. Come on, Terry, you can do it. I don't think Terry is as fast as Buster. Wait, what's he doing? Oh, cheeky Buster, he's showing off. Poor Terry. Buster sure is confident that he's going to win. You're not at the finish line yet, Buster. Keep going, Terry, you still have a chance. Oh, Buster, don't tease Terry. <laughs> You're not being very nice. <laughs> Go on, Terry. You'll show Buster that you don't just need speed to win a race. <laughs> Buster is really far ahead now. Look at him zooming through all the muddy puddles. Oh, Buster, I know it's hot, but you can't be tired. You haven't finished the race. Look over there, it's an apple tree. <laughs> I think Buster is going to take a nap in the shade. Cheeky Buster, you're getting a bit too confident, aren't you? Oh dear, Buster has fallen asleep. 
And look who it is, Terry Tractor. He's managed to overtake Buster. Oh, silly Buster, you've slept for too long. Off he races towards the finish line. I'm not sure he's going to like what he finds. Nearly there, Buster. But where's Terry? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there he is. <gasps> Terry crossed the line first. <laughs> Silly Buster, you shouldn't have slept for so long. And you shouldn't have been such a show-off. Because it goes to show, slow and steady wins the race. Mm. Bye, Buster. Bye, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Buster and his friends have been out trick-or-treating for Halloween. <laughs> Buster has lots of tasty sweets in his bucket. Grandpa reminds Buster that he shouldn't eat too many sweets at once. Now Buster's up in his room. But now, no one is watching. He's eating all the sweets he can. Ouch! That really hurt! Oh no, Buster has a wobbly tooth. That's really frightening. Mommy's come to fetch Buster. It's dinner time, but he's hiding his wobbly tooth. I don't think he wants anyone to know. Dinner's ready. Lots of tasty vegetables. But Buster doesn't want to eat. Mommy can tell something has upset Buster. He's showing her his wobbly tooth. Aw. Grandpa knows what to do. He tells Buster to take a bite of that sweet corn. Look! Buster's tooth has fallen out. That wasn't so bad. Buster feels much better now. Now it's time for bed. Mommy tells Buster to put the tooth under his pillow. Whilst he's asleep, the Tooth Fairy will come to collect it. Buster wakes up the next morning and... Whoa! A big gold star! Buster is going to wear that proudly. Now he knows there's nothing to worry about with a wobbly tooth. Nap time in Buster's garage. Have a nice sleep, Buster. But who's this? It's a robot bus. Oh no, he's come to cause mischief. He's made himself look like Buster. Oh hey Scout, she's practicing her ball skills for the football match. Here comes robot bus. I think Scout thinks it's Buster, not a robot bus. Oh dear, robot bus has squashed Scout's football. What a nasty thing to do. Poor Scout is very upset. It's Jessie G. She's waiting for the green light. There it is. Oh, that was a close one. It's Robot Bus up to mischief again. Oh no, Jessie thinks that's the real Buster. Oh, little Robin, be careful. Robot Bus isn't very friendly. Oh, poor Robin. Bad Robot Bus. Hey, Digger. He's having fun with his building block. Oh no, Robot Bus has come to join in. He's ruined Digger's pyramid of blocks. Robot Bus is causing chaos. Here's the real Buster the Bus. <gasps> Waking from his nap. Oh dear, everyone is angry at you, Buster. They think Robot Bus was you. How can you prove that you didn't do all these mean things? Robot Bus has come to cause more chaos. Quick, Digger, there's a switch on his roof. Oh, look, he's been set to bad. Switch it to good, Digger. Well done, Digger. That seems to have done the trick. It looks like Robot Bus has gone back to normal now. Oh? <laughs> well done, everyone. That was a close one. Robot Bus could have terrorized the whole town. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Buster, Bandit, and Scout are having a sleepover. But they're still wide awake. 
They're having a great time staying up. They're too excited to go to sleep. <gasps> Who's that? It's Grandpa Bus. He says it's getting late. It's time to go to bed. They can't play games and be up all night. Hmm, maybe this night light will help them get to sleep. Wow, look at those stars. Buster loves stars. He wonders what it would be like to be a space rocket flying fast through them. Oh look, it's space rocket Buster. Buster and his friends are using their imagination. They're flying through space. Check it out, there's Earth. They're going to race to it. Ready, steady, go. Buster is in the lead. Oh no, Bandit knocked him off course. Oh, now Buster's far behind. How can he zoom back ahead? Aha. Whoa! Buster is spinning around Saturn! Now he's going really fast! What a clever idea! He's overtaking Bandit and Scout! Hmm, what's Bandit up to now? Careful! Meteors! Bandit is throwing them at Buster and Scout. Hmm, they have to stop him. They're throwing an even bigger meteor back at Bandit. That'll teach him. And the race is back on. Buster and Scout are neck and neck. Nearly there. Space Rocket Buster wins the race! Way to go! Uh-oh! Busted! Again! Grandpa heard them playing. That was a lot of fun. But now it really is time to go to bed. Good night, everyone. It's a very blustery day on the farm. Look! I think Terry has something he wants to show Buster. Hey, it's Monty, the hot air balloon. He's an old friend of Terry's. Say hello, Buster. It must be so much fun to be able to float through the air like a balloon. But, uh-oh, the wind is picking up. I hope Monty doesn't blow away. Oh no, the rope snapped. And now the wind is blowing Monty away. Quick, Buster, you've got to chase after him, or who knows where he'll be blown off to. Monty is so high up. How will you get him down? Look, a rope. I wonder what Buster has in mind. Hurry up, guys. You've got to get ahead of Monty. What's Buster going to do? Oh, of course, a lasso. Rope him up, cowboy. Ah, so close. But Monty is still floating away. There has to be some way to rescue Monty. <gasps> What's Buster seeing now? It's Iggy the ice cream truck with lots of balloons. I think I know Buster's plan. Look, Buster's tied all the balloons to himself and now he's floating into the sky. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Grab hold of Monty. Almost. Almost, almost. You've got him. Well done, Buster. You saved the day. Monty looks very grateful. Ah, uh, Monty's tied up safely again now. He's not going to float away like that balloon. Nice work, Buster. Ash is coming round to play at Buster's house. They're really excited to play some board games. Today's game is Snakes and Ladders. How exciting! 
and Ash gets to go first. Five and two, that's seven. So Ash moves his counter seven spaces. Now it's Buster's turn. Eight, along the counter goes. Now it's Ash's turn again. Oh wow, he's rolled very well. He's going up a ladder. Now Buster, five. Oh dear, down the snake he goes. Buster's not doing well. Oops, he knocked over his counter. What's that? Here comes Grandpa with lots of other toys to play with, but he's dropped them all. Ash is helping to pick them all up. But no one is watching Buster. <gasps> oh no, he moved his counter up. But that's cheating. Oh no, he's moved it to the finish line like he's won the game. Now Ash is back. Looks like the game is over. Buster won. Ash doesn't understand how that happened, but he's happy for his friend. Ah. That's odd. Buster should feel happy he won, but he doesn't feel right. Not right at all. Buster cheated. He didn't win fair and square, so it feels all wrong. But Grandpa knows it's not all about winning. It's playing the game that's the fun part. And now it's Ash's turn. Ash rolls. Whoa, he almost went down the snake. Buster goes down another snake and... <laughs> there, Ash won fair and square. But Buster is happy for his friend. They had so much fun playing together. You're looking very cheerful today, Buster. What's that you've seen? Oh, wow, a kitten. It's adorable. Careful, Buster. You're really big and the cat is really small. Oh dear, I think you scared her, Buster. I wonder where she's going. You're too big to go under the fence, Buster. You'll have to go around. Where's that kitten gotten to? Uh-oh. She's stuck up in that tall tree. You've got to rescue her, Buster. A trampoline? What a good idea! That'll be a nice soft landing for the kitten. Bounce? Oh no! The kitten bounced right the way back up into the tree. Let's try something else. A net? Good idea, Buster. Careful now. Gently. Gently. Oh look, a bee! Stay still, Buster. I don't think he means any harm, but... Oh dear. The net is broken too. Back to the drawing board. Hold on, I think Buster has another idea. Of course! Buster's brought Ashley the fire truck. She'll be able to reach the kitten with her tall ladder. There we go. <laughs> the kitten will be safe now. Oh no, I think the kitten is too scared to come down the ladder. I wonder what Buster has planned. Oh, yes! The kitten's ball of wool. She'll come down to play with that. Look how happy the kitten is. Here she comes down the ladder. There, safe and sound. Nice work, Buster. It's a brand new snowy day. And Buster can't wait to go outside and play. It's so much fun to play in the snow. And the best game of all is a snowball fight. Diggly and Scout are on one team, but Buster needs a teammate. Look, there's Bandit. He can be on Buster's team, though Buster and Bandit don't always get along. Time to start throwing snowballs. Buster and Bandit are hiding behind that hill. Hmm. Buster thinks they should go this way, but Bandit thinks they should go that way. Oh dear, they can't agree. They're not working together as a team. Buster is sneaking through the trees, but Scout has spotted him. Look out! Oh dear. Bandit is trying to sneak behind the fence. 
<laughs> Buster and Bandit aren't doing very well. But look! Scout and Diggly are working together. That's it! If Buster and Bandit want to win, they'll need to work together like a team. Whoosh! Off they go! <laughs> That's more like it! Now it's a real fun snowball fight! It's much better with teamwork! <laughs> Who threw that snowball? <gasps> Grandpa! The more players, the more fun it is! Buster and his friends are on a holiday at the beach! What a fun day out! Wow, the sea looks amazing! What is that in the water? Ah, it's a shark! Buster is very scared! Oops, watch out, Iggy! Mommy Bus is taking a nap on the beach. Buster is trying to tell her what he saw. It had scary fins and jumped out of the water. It was a shark! <gasps> hmm. hmm, Mommy Bus can't see anything. <gasps> Don't worry, Buster. Mm -hmm. Everything is fine, and Mommy Bus is going back to her nap. <gasps> Buster is still very scared. I wonder if the shark is still there. It's a shark! Go, Buster, go! Oops, not again! Buster is still frightened, but he wants to get over his fear. He's going back again. There's the shark. Wait a second, what's wrong? The shark has a sore, wobbly tooth! That's why it was jumping out of the water. <laughs> Don't worry, Shark. Buster can help. He's trying to get Mommy's attention. She's awake. She's got her red kit and Mommy Bus to the rescue. Splat! <laughs> yum, yum. Mommy Bus is removing the shark's wobbly tooth. It's out. Hooray! The shark feels so much better now. Well done, Buster! He can't wait to show the tooth to his Halloween! And Buster is having a party! He's looking for a cool costume to make himself super scary! What has he found? Whoa! Buster is dressed up as a cowboy! Awesome! Time to put this costume to the test! Boo! Buster tries to scare Mommy. Did it work? Hmm, maybe the cowboy costume isn't scary enough. He needs to find something scarier. Aha, he's got it. Arr! he's a pirate. This is going to be much scarier. Oops! Be careful, Buster! There's Grandpa Bus! Scare him, Buster! Arr! Oh dear! Buster is still not scary enough! But looks like he's got an idea! Hang on a second! Where has Grandpa's laundry gone? Oh. It's time for snacks! Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh. <gasps> what was that? There's a noise coming from that shed! But what is making that noise? Oh. It's a bit spooky! Wait a second, I recognize that giggle. 
It was Buster all along. <laughs> that was definitely a scary costume. Sounds like people have arrived for the party. And Mommy has a plan. <laughs> Ash and Scout have arrived. They're so excited. <laughs> hmm, there's nobody there. Whoa. They're a little bit scared. <gasps> what is that? Boo! Ah, run away! <laughs> Don't worry, Ash and Scout. It was just Buster. <laughs> what a great prank and a very scary <laughs> costume. It's time for the annual nature race, which Daddy Bus has organized. This is going to be so much fun. Ash and Buster are going to work together. They need to race through the woods as fast as they can. And the first one back gets the shiny trophy. Get set, go, go, go! Bandit has overtaken Buster and Ash. He really wants to win. What is he up to? <gasps> He's changed the sign. So Buster and Ash are going the wrong way. Oh no! <laughs> huh? There's no more path. This can't be right. And what's that? A huge tire print. Ash thinks it must be a monster. <laughs> nope, don't worry, Ash. Monsters aren't real. Uh-oh, I think they're lost. But they need to keep going. They're slowing down. Oh, dear. They're stuck in the mud. What are they going to do? <gasps> what is that? It sounds like a monster. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Don't worry. It's just a monster truck. And they're very friendly. She's pulling Ash out of the mud. Wow, she's strong. And now it's Buster's turn. <laughs> this monster truck is called Mira. She's lost too, just like them. Buster says they can work as a team. There's Naughty Bandit. He's almost at the finish line. But look, Buster and his friends are ahead. They ended up taking a shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Mira won the race. But she couldn't have done it without her new friends. And she's won the trophy. Yippee! But Mira feels sad for Bandit being on his own. She knows what that feels like. Bandit feels bad for cheating in the big race. Don't worry, Bandit. There's no need to cheat when you have friends by your side. And it's always fun to make new friends. It's a brand new day, and it's time for Buster to head off to school. There's Diggly. They can go to school together. They're going to race to school. Whoosh! I wonder who will be fastest. Whoa! There's a little duckling in the road. He should be more careful. There's a mommy duck. She's trying to cross the road with her ducklings. But look out, here comes Terry. Here comes the teacher too. Oh no. Phew. Thanks to Diggly and Buster, the duck family can cross the road safely. Aw, they're going to swim in that pond. Uh-oh, that duckling is walking back to the road. <laughs> Good job, Buster. Now the ducks are going back over the road. Buster and Diggly are helping them cross safely. 
<laughs> Mommy Duck is crossing too. Well done, everyone, for helping. <laughs> but Terry and the teacher want to get moving or they'll be late. Wait a minute. I think Buster has an idea. Hmm, what are they doing with those paints? White lines? And some signs. It's a duck crossing. Now the duck family can cross the road safely whenever they like. There's the teacher again. He's telling them to hurry up. The kids had better get to school or they'll be late. Nice work, everyone. Everyone is having fun at the Christmas market. There's Buster. He's having a candy apple. So yummy. Whoa, Mommy Bus has a present. Is that for Buster? It is. But Mommy says to wait until Christmas to open the present. Buster doesn't want to wait. He wants to open the present now. But he'll have to wait. Throw the ball to knock down the cans. That's Mommy's favorite game. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Buster's going to try to look at the present while Mommy is distracted. Buster shouldn't really be doing that. Hmm, what is inside? Here is Bandit. Oh, look out! Oh no, the present is flying off across the market. Quick, they have to get the present back before Mommy notices it's gone. The present is on the ice rink. Quick, Bandit, grab it! Oopsie! Buster will have to try and get it now. So close! Ah, oh, so close! Mommy Bus still hasn't noticed the missing present. She's having so much fun! Oh, there's the present! Can Bandit and Buster get it back before Mommy notices? Ah, oh, whoops! Where's the present gone now? Oh, look! The Wonder Wheel! It's Ash! And there's the present! Oh, no! He dropped it! Go, Buster! Great catch! Phew! Well done, Buster! Look! Mommy put all the cans down! Hooray! She won a teddy bear! They've got the present back just in time. <laughs> Mommy is in such a good mood, she's going to let Buster look at the present, if he still wants to. Mm. Oh. <laughs> but Buster has learned his lesson. He's going to wait. <laughs> it's finally Christmas Day, and Buster can open the present at last. <laughs> Whoa, it's a new soccer ball. <laughs> That's why it was so bouncy. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Buster. Buster is packing his bag for Ash's birthday picnic. He will need a picnic blanket, something to drink. What else does Buster need? Marshmallows to toast on the fire. Thanks, Daddy Bus. Don't forget Ash's present. Oh. <laughs> Buster is so excited to celebrate Ash's birthday. What's wrong, Buster? He looks a bit unwell. He really doesn't want to miss the party. Buster and Daddy have arrived. <laughs> Time to play some party games together. Hmm, Buster really doesn't look well, but he doesn't want to miss out on the fun. They're playing hide and seek. 
<laughs> oh no, Buster is feeling really poorly. Maybe sitting by the fire will make him feel better? His friends are worried about him and want to make sure he's okay. Maybe some marshmallows will make him feel better. He can't even eat toasted marshmallows. Daddy Bus is taking Buster home to rest. But he can't forget Ash's birthday present. What is it? It's a painting set. That's very thoughtful, Buster. It's given Ash an idea. He's passing a paintbrush to Bandit and Scout. I wonder what they're going to paint. Buster is resting at home. He isn't his usual happy self. He needs to take his medicine and get some sleep to feel better. Well done, Buster. The next day, Buster is feeling a bit better now. But he's still sad he missed Ash's birthday. Daddy Bus has got Buster some warm soup. And what's that? His friends made a painting for him. And they're outside! Hooray! Buster is so happy to see his friends. And the painting has made him feel much better. Buster looks so excited. I wonder why. A storybook. Buster wants Mommy to read to him. Buster loves a good fairy tale. Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants, but Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. Buster has some nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner, but he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. Hmm, Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look, he's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow, he's getting it. Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. But, oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh, look, Buster has fallen asleep. Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good night, Buster. It's a bright, sunny day, and Buster wants to play outside. But what's this? He's left his toys all over the floor. Buster knows he should clean them up, but he really wants to go and play. Whoa! Buster's cleaning up all the toys super fast. But not very well. Oh dear, he's knocked that glass over. And now his mopping up has left water everywhere. Soon, Buster is outside playing. What was that? Mommy slipped on all the water. Oh dear, the room is still such a mess. 
Buster feels really bad for not cleaning up well. But he can make it all better. He just has to clean up properly and take his time to do it right. Mommy and Buster can do it together, like it's a game. <laughs> Chores are so much easier to do when you find the fun in them. And they're so much faster if you work together. There, Buster is even cleaning up that drink he spilled. <gasps> Perfect! The room is all tidy at last. Now Buster and Mommy can go and play ball together. Hooray! <laughs> hey there, Buster. What have you got there? An ice cream. <laughs> it sure looks delicious. What's wrong, Buster? Oh, you've got a wobbly tooth. That's not good at all. Huh? I think Buster has been eating too much sugar. Oh, dear. That does look painful. Poor Buster. Oh, great idea, Robin. Huh? Buster should go to the dentist to get that bad tooth looked at. Oh, come on, Buster. It's not that scary. That's a tasty-looking lollipop. <laughs> but I don't think it's any good for your bad tooth. Ooh, that looked like it really hurt. What about an apple, Buster? Something with a little less sugar in it? Huh? I think Buster's afraid to eat anything now. Oh, dear. That tooth is still hurting. Poor Buster. He can't stay like this. That's it, Robin. Go and get some help. <laughs> Look who it is. It's Amber, the ambulance. Oh. She'll know what huh? to do. Don't be afraid, Buster. Uh -huh. Amber is here to help. You just have to be brave. <laughs> Open wide. <laughs> Come on, Buster. Open up nice and wide so Amber can see your tooth. Let's have a look. That looks very painful, Buster. It looks like you're going to lose your first milk tooth. And then you will get your big teeth. <laughs> Amber knows what will help. A toothbrush. Squeeze the toothpaste out of the tooth <laughs> and brush from side to side. That's it, Buster. All nice and clean. And a quick rinse. It's very important <laughs> to look after your teeth. Well done, Buster. An ice pack will soothe the pain. <sighs> That's better. You see, that wasn't so scary, was it? <sighs> Thanks, Amber. Oh, wow, look, Buster. Your oh. wobbly tooth has fallen out. <laughs> That's much better, isn't it? And a new tooth will grow in its place soon. Well done, Buster. You are very brave. Buster and Daddy Bus are having a day out at the park. Uh-oh, careful, Daddy. They're going to play some soccer together. It's time for kickoff. Buster passes the ball and... Uh-oh, looks like Daddy hasn't quite got the hang of this. But Buster shows him how it's done. Time for a penalty shootout. Buster shoots, and he scores! Oh no, Daddy Bus, are you all right? Phew, he's okay. Now it's Buster's turn to be in goal. Daddy looks determined. Whoops, the ball's gone flying up in the air. Oh, look! It's Ash and Mommy Fire Truck. Buster is inviting them to join the game. Great idea, Buster. It's buses versus fire trucks. Let's go! Buster takes the ball. Ash dives in front. Mommy shoots for goal and she misses. Oops! I think Buster has another idea. I wonder what it is. Ash and Buster are teaming up. It's now kids versus parents. Who's going to win? Ash starts. Daddy takes the ball, but Ash tackles him. He passes to Buster. And Buster scores! Go, Buster! What great teamwork, everyone! They are both very tired as Daddy drives Buster home after a great day out. Oh, look, it's Mommy Bus. Buster waves goodbye to Daddy Bus. But wait, Buster is giving Daddy Bus the soccer ball. 
<laughs> he does need the hey prayer there, buster. What's that you can see in the sky? Oh, wow! It's Santa's sleigh! He's going very fast. Uh-oh, I think he's going to crash. Quick, Buster, go and see if Santa needs any help. Whoa! There's the sleigh and the reindeer. And look, there's Santa himself. Oh, oh dear, the sleigh Ooh. is broken. How will Santa deliver all the presents in time now? I wonder if there's anything Buster can do to help. Hmm. Hmm. I think Santa has an idea. I wonder what he's got in mind. <laughs> Whoa! Santa is sitting on Buster. And what's that magical glitter he has there? Bless you, Buster. All right, off you go. Watch out for that tree. Wait, wow! Buster is flying, just like Santa's sleigh. <laughs> now they can deliver the presents in time. Look, it's Scout. Where'd that present come from? Good job, Buster and Santa. There's Diggly decorating the Christmas tree in the town square. Merry Christmas, Diggly. <laughs> <laughs> There's Terry out on his farm. Buster and Santa left a present for him, too. Wow, that's all the presents delivered. Well done, Buster. You helped Santa out. Now he's back home at the North Pole. It's that magic powder again. I see. The magic powder is what lets Buster fly. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Buster. It's fall. And Buster the Bus and his friends are outside playing. <laughs> Look at all the leaves falling off the trees. What's this? I think Scout has an idea for a game. Oh, Scout wants to play hide and seek. What a great idea. You count, Buster, whilst everybody else goes and hides. Tony the truck is hiding in the barn. Jesse the Jeep is hiding under that box. Diggly the digger is going to dig a hole behind those bushes. Quick Scout, you need to find somewhere to hide before Buster is done counting. But where? Three, two, one. One, coming ready or not. Where is everyone? Buster's going to seek. Is anyone hiding in that barn? Yes, you found Tony the truck, Buster. What about these boxes? Is anyone hiding here? I guess not. Wait a minute. Is that box following you, Buster? That must mean, yes, you found Jesse the Jeep. Good job. What about those bushes? Anyone hiding there? Look, there's Robin. <gasps> Did you see that? I wonder if. That's right, you found Diggly the Digger. Hooray. That just leaves Scout. I wonder where she could be hiding. Wait, did you notice something funny about that pile of leaves? There, Scout. Well done, Buster. You found all of your friends' hiding places. Wasn't that fun? It's a sunny day at Buster's house. Oh, look. Mommy Bus is helping a kitten with a sore leg. There, all fixed and bandaged up. Scout is here to drive to school with Buster. They are playing in the playground. Oh, dear. Scout hurt her tire. Buster's got an idea. What is he up to? He's bandaged up Scout's tire with toilet roll. All fixed. Great work, Buster. Looks like Ash wants to be bandaged up as well. And now Scout wants her other tires bandaged up. 
But Buster is all out of toilet roll. Bandit has a cheeky idea. <laughs> They're all taking the toilet roll. They're getting the toilet roll everywhere. This looks very messy. They're getting a bit carried away. Oh dear, they've covered the playground in toilet roll. Teacher doesn't seem very pleased. <laughs> Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. She wonders what has upset the teacher. Buster explains he was trying to help Scout like Mommy helped the kitten. Mommy will be able to bandage it properly. Time to get properly fixed up. Hey, Buster. Oh no, Buster looks really ill. Hello, Scout. I think Scout wants to play. I don't think Buster is well enough to play today. Buster is feeling really ill. Quick, Scout, go and get some help. Oh, poor Buster. It'll be okay. We all get poorly now and then. Oh, look! Scout has brought Amber the ambulance to have a look at Buster. Great idea, Scout. Amber will know what to do to make Buster feel better. It looks like Amber the ambulance is helping Buster back into his garage. Let's see if she can find what's wrong with Buster. Firstly, let's check Buster's tires. Oh, look. This one has lost all of its air. It needs pumping up. There we go. That's better. Buster looks better already. Oh, but you're still a bit under the weather. Ah, yes. Let's check Buster's temperature with a thermometer. It doesn't look good, Buster. It's time for Amber to check Buster's engine. Oh, no. Buster's leaking oil. No wonder he's not feeling well. Amber will fix this with her spanner. It's okay, Buster. It'll be done soon. Just a few more turns. There we go. Great job, Amber. Buster looks like he's back to his normal self again. I think you're well enough to go out and play, Buster. Oh, he seems very pleased. That's the Buster we know and love. It's time for Amber to head off. Bye, Amber. Thank you for looking after Buster. <laughs> Off Scout and Buster go to play. Bye. Hey everyone, what a lovely sunset. I bet Buster has had so much fun in the sun. I wonder what that green slime is. Oh no, it's dropped on Buster and I don't think he's noticed. What's happening? Something isn't right. Look at all the gravestones and pumpkins appearing. This is spooky. And what's happened to Buster? I think that green slime has changed Buster into a zombie. That's one big pumpkin digger is carving, and it looks great. Who's that? Oh no, it's Zombie Buster. Digger is really frightened, but I don't think Buster knows what he looks like. Oh look, it's Scout. Buster is so happy to see her. Oh no, she seems scared too. Oh no, Scout is hiding from Buster, just like Digger did. Poor Buster is so upset and lonely. Come on, Scout. Buster is your friend. I think Scout has an idea. She wants Buster to follow her. Do you see now, Buster? You look like a zombie. That's why everyone is scared of you. Don't worry, Buster. Look, the slime has come off on Scout's wheel. I think Scout has a plan. A car wash? Good idea, Scout. Buster always loves a car wash. Yay, the green has gone. Buster is no longer a zombie. That was super spooky, Buster. 
Oh my, Scout! You sound like a werewolf! <laughs> Happy Halloween, everyone! <laughs> Buster the bus! <laughs> Looks like he's having fun flying that kite! Look out! Oh no! Scout accidentally hit Buster, and now the kite has flown away! I'm sure Scout didn't mean it, Buster! <laughs> Look, what's this? It's a letter addressed to Santa, but it's not been delivered. I think Buster has an idea. He's going to deliver the letter himself to make sure it gets to Santa safely. Oh no, the letter! Phew, thanks for the help, Robin. Off Buster goes. It's a long way to the North Pole where Santa lives. It's cold and tough. Be careful you don't get lost, Buster. Oh dear, almost there, Buster. What's this? Reindeer tracks? Look, it's Santa! Buster made it! Santa's saying hello, Buster. Go and give him the letter. Buster's driven such a long way to deliver it. Let's see what it says. Whoa! It's asking Santa to give Buster a kite for Christmas. It's from Scout. What a loyal friend Scout is. I think Santa knows what to do. Well done for delivering the letter, Buster. It's Christmas morning. Wake up, Buster. Oh, there's nothing under the tree. Maybe Santa was too busy. Wait, there's a present after all. Merry Christmas, Buster. And there it is, just like Scout asked. A kite to replace the one Buster lost. Thank you, Scout. What a thoughtful Christmas gift. Buster and Scout are on their way home from school. Bye, Scout. What's Buster spotted? Oh, look, it's Diggly and Daisy. Buster wants to help. But safety first. Look at that awesome builder's hat. Buster is helping them move a crate off Rocky the Riverboat. Great teamwork, guys! Now they're placing the crate on the construction site. Mr. Rubble is off to get some lunch. See you later, Mr. Rubble! Oh no! The crate is sinking into the mud! Go, Buster, go! Oh no! Now Buster is stuck in the mud as well! Daisy to the rescue! <gasps> nope, that didn't work! What's that? Diggly is hooked up to that crane! And he's pulling Buster out! It's working! Just a little bit more… Oops! Now they're all stuck! And Mr. Rubble hasn't noticed. But Buster's got a plan. He's wrapping the wire around the crane and attaching it to the crate so they can pull themselves out. Brilliant idea, Buster. Diggly and Daisy are both pulling the rope at different times. But they need to work together. That's it! Hooray! It worked! Mr. Rubble still hasn't noticed them. So they quickly pull the crate out. Everything is back to normal. Well, not quite back to normal. They're all covered in mud. It's time to get cleaned up. Mr. Rubble is spraying them with the hose. There, that's much better. Now it's time for a spot of lunch. Yum, yum. But what's that? Mr. Rubble has driven straight into the mud. 
Don't worry, Mr. Rubble. They know just what to Here do. Here comes Buster the Bus. <laughs> I wonder what he's going to get up to today. What's this? Look at that billboard, Buster. Those tires look so shiny and new. Maybe it's time for you to get some new tires, Buster. <laughs> Off he goes. Oh, look. It's Jessie the Jeep. She seems to be struggling up the hill. Here comes Buster. <laughs> Poor Jessie. I think she needs some help, Buster. Her tires don't seem to be gripping the road. You're nearly there, Jessie. Keep trying. Oh, Buster, I know you want to get those tires, but your friend Jessie needs some help. Oh, no! Jessie is slipping back down. Aw, oh, well done, Buster. You came back to help Jessie. That was very kind of you. Oh, no. It looks like something is wrong with Jessie's trailer. It looks like the weight of the trailer is pushing her down the hill too fast. She's lost control, Buster. Quickly, Buster, you have to help her. It'll be okay, Jessie. Buster isn't far behind. Good job, Buster. Keep in control of the trailer so it doesn't take over. Oh, no. The garage is up ahead. She won't be able to slow down in time. Great idea, Buster. Use your brakes to slow down, Jessie. That was a close one. Well done, Buster. And look, it's the shiny new tires you came hey! for. Oh, poor Jessie. Her tires look sore. Buster, I think there's someone who needs them more than you. That's right, Buster. Well done. <laughs> Jessie really needs some new tires. They look great, Jessie. You'll have no trouble pulling your trailer now. And driving up hills will be easy. <laughs> Bye, Buster. Bye, Jessie. Hey, Buster. <laughs> Looks like another day to have fun. Oh, no. It's Bandit the bus. Buster, watch out. You will crash. Wait, what's happening? Oh, wow. You're floating in the air. Oh. <laughs> this is incredible, Buster. Hmm? <laughs> I wonder if you can fly. Oh, wow. You've turned into a superhero. You are so fast! Super Buster is here! Woohoo! What has Buster seen? It's Otis the police car. I wonder what Otis is looking for inside the tunnel. Wait, it's Bandit the bus. What is he up to? This doesn't look good. Oh no! He's pushed the boulder over the edge and trapped oh. Otis in the tunnel. <laughs> You've got to save him, Buster. You can't let Bandit the bus get away with this. That boulder looks very heavy. It's okay, Buster. You're a superhero now. You can save him. Oh, Buster, your eyes. Wow, you have laser vision. Well done, Buster. You've set Otis free. Now let's catch that naughty Bandit bus. There's Bandit. Looks like he's up to no good again. Scout, watch out. Poor Scout. <laughs> Look who it is. You're in trouble now. Super Buster is here. Buster, you can stop him. <laughs> Super Buster is too strong for Bandit. That should stop him. Phew. Now Buster just needs to help Scout out of the <laughs> pond. <laughs> Look at Bandit. He's stuck now. Oh, it was all just a daydream. I don't think the teacher is very happy. <laughs> Mommy Bus and Ashley are having a relaxing day in, while Buster and Ash play tag. Oops, watch out, Buster. <gasps> hmm, maybe Buster and Ash should play outside instead. <laughs> oh, look. Buster has spotted the shed as a good hiding place. Off he goes, with Ash not far behind. Ash got him! Well done! <gasps> oh no! The water on the shed is freezing into icicles! They're trapped! Buster is trying to push Ash through the window. But he doesn't quite fit. What can they do now? Oh, a fishing rod! Buster has an idea. 
Grandpa Bus is really looking forward to eating his sandwich. But, oh no, it's snatched away. Buster is using the fishing rod to hook the sandwich and get Mommy Bus's attention. Go, Buster! It worked! Mommy Bus is using a hairdryer to melt the icicles. Buster and Ash are free at last. Thanks, Mommy. Hey there, Digger. What's he doing? Ah, he's building a Skittle Tower. Nice work, Digger. They look great. Oh, look, it's Buster playing with his ball. Hey, Buster, careful where you're kicking that ball. You might... Oh, no! You've knocked Digger's Skittle Tower over. Uh-oh. I think Buster has had an idea. I'm not sure Digger is going to like this. There he goes again. Buster is having a great time. Nice aiming, Buster. But I hope Digger isn't too upset that you've knocked down his towers. Are you ready for the third one? Look, there's Scout driving towards the Skittle Towers. Oh, no! Look out, Scout! Look what you've done now, Buster. Scout is trapped. You'll have to go and get help quickly. Huh? Huh? Don't worry, Scout. Buster has gone to get help. Here he comes. He's brought Digger. Digger looks very annoyed that Buster has knocked down his towers. But at least he's here to help. Look, Scout is free again. Thank goodness. Now you better get back to rebuilding those towers. If you work together, it'll take no time at all. That's it, Buster. Heave! Well done, Digger. That's the first tower. Come on, Buster. Put some engine grease into it. <laughs> I think Buster is a little tired. Buster, there's no time to rest. There's still work to be done. Get back to it. There we go. Good as new. Nice work, everyone. <laughs> oh no, Buster. Don't think about playing Skittles with your ball again. Buster and Mommy are decorating the house for Halloween. But look, they still need a pumpkin. Looks like there are pumpkins for sale this way. Buster and Grandpa will go and fetch one. Whoa! So many pumpkins to choose from! Buster wants this big one. Now, Grandpa's going to carve a face into the pumpkin and turn it into a jack-o'-lantern. Eyes, a mouth, and a nose. But what's Buster seen? A sheet? Hmm. Oh, Buster pretended to be a ghost and scared Grandpa. But now the pumpkin is rolling away. Oh no, it's rolling towards the road. Phew, he just missed it. Quick, Buster and Grandpa are chasing after the runaway pumpkin. Buster's almost got it. Oops. There's Diggly building a wall. Oh dear, the pumpkin spooked him. Now it's rolling away again. No time to stop and play. They've got to keep chasing it. Poor Grandpa is out of breath. It's up to Buster to catch the pumpkin. Quick, it's heading for that pond. Buster's jumping for it. Well done, Buster. It rolled right into place outside the front door. Phew, that was lucky. <laughs> Mommy looks very pleased. Good job, Buster and Grandpa. <laughs> hey there, Buster. Oh, wow, a soccer ball. Ooh. Look, it's Scout. She wants to play. <laughs> Great kick, Buster. <laughs> nice one, Scout. <laughs> Who's that driving down the road? It's Tony the truck. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, no, Buster. Be careful where you kick the ball. Watch out for Tony! Ouch, that must have hurt. I hope Tony is okay. Buster, you have to be more careful. 
Watch out for that pin. Oh no, it's punctured Buster's tire. Look, Scout, Pony the truck needs help. I know who we need. Oh. Yay, Amber the ambulance. Good job, Scout. It sure is an eventful day. I hope you feel better soon, Tony. Oh, Buster, that sure looks painful. Don't worry now, it was only an accident. Tony is in safe hands, and Amber will come back shortly. Buster, look, it's Amber. Let's get you fixed. <sighs> Off to the garage, Buster goes. Uh -huh. Oh, wow, Tony looks mm -hmm. great. <laughs> Buster is getting a new tire. All fixed. Mm. Oh, Buster, wow. accidents happen. Be more careful next time. <laughs> Great kick, Buster. <laughs> oh, no, not again. Buster is being more careful. Look huh? left, look huh? right. Now that's more like it. <laughs> well done, Buster. Over here, Buster. <laughs> Wow, Buster, look at that red balloon. Why don't you try and catch it? <laughs> nice try, Buster. But it's floating away. Aw, Buster looks sad. <laughs> oh, hey, little Robin. You might be able to catch the runaway red balloon. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. That's a nice looking balloon, Buster. <laughs> oh, wow, there's another balloon. This one is green. <laughs> Quick, Robin, catch it. There we go. Now you have two balloons, Buster. Gosh, look at all those colorful balloons. You know what to do, Robin. <laughs> Buster, the balloons are lifting you off the ground. Robin has lost Buster. He's up there, Robin. Buster's flying. It's OK, Buster. Don't be scared. Look at the view from up here. <laughs> Terry can't work out where that horn is coming from. Look up there, Terry. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Buster the bus. <laughs> There's something you don't see every day. Oh, Buster, you're floating quite high now. Terry looks so small down there on the ground. I think Buster is starting to get scared. You don't want to end up in space, Buster. Robin, you've got to help. Great idea. If you pop the balloons, huh? Buster will hopefully float down. Oh no, oh. Buster's falling really quickly. It's okay, Buster, you've nearly reached the ground. I think a few more balloons will do it, Robin. And touchdown. Buster is pleased to be back on the ground. I think we should leave the flying to Robin, Buster. Oh, where's Robin going? Ha, <laughs> huh, another balloon? I think Buster has had enough of balloons for one day. Bye, Buster. <laughs> Bye, Robin. Happy holidays, Buster. Oh, no. Buster doesn't look very happy, does he? Let's go and see what's wrong with him. Buster seems very bored. Has he run out of things to do? <gasps> Did you hear that, everyone? Yes, it's Buster's friend, the Robin. But where could he be? I can't see him anywhere, can you? That's a very big sigh from Buster. <laughs> Oh, look, there he is. And he's carrying Buster's bobble. I think he wants you to follow him, Buster. Go on, let's see what he wants to show you. Oh, he is bringing back a scarf. Great idea, Buster. You should both build a snowman. Look at him, using his wheels to pile up all the snow. Clever, Buster. Wow, it's already taking shape. And there's the head. Well done, Robin. A snowman isn't complete without his scarf. <gasps> what are those pieces of coal for? Of course. Now the Robin's gone to find something else. Oh, yes, a carrot for their snowman's nose. What a fantastic snowman. But look. Buster thinks something's missing. 
Wow, that's a big gust of wind. And look, it's blown a top hat to Buster and the Robin. That's what was missing. Well done, Buster. The Robin certainly agrees. <laughs> oh, wow. The snowman has come alive. Buster is so excited. Buster now has not only the Robin to play with, but his new snowman friend, too. Happy holidays, everyone. Hey there, Buster. Hey, little Robin. That's right, Buster. Look both ways before crossing the tracks. Whoa, that was a close one. Wasn't Suki the train looking where she was going? There's Otis the police car. Something must be wrong. Quick, Buster, maybe you can help. Oh no, Suki has fallen asleep on the job. If someone doesn't stop her, who knows where she'll end up? What are we going to do? Wait, I think Buster has an idea. A rope? Good thinking, Buster. You can use that to slow Suki down. Nice catch, Robin. That's it. Pull! You can do it. Oh no, the rope snapped. Suki is still out of control. I think she's going faster now. You've got to catch up with her, quick! Oh, what's Buster seeing now? Oh dear, it's Digger. Suki is heading right towards him and he hasn't even noticed. Another track. It goes up a hill, too. Look out, Buster. Phew, that was close. Well ducked, Buster. You need to change the tracks, Buster, so Suki goes up the hill. Hurry, Buster. You can do it. Almost there. Yes, just in time. Well done, Buster. You changed the track. Suki is heading up a steep hill. That'll slow her down. There, at last, she stopped safely. I think Suki is waking up. Thank goodness nobody was hurt. Well done, Buster. You helped Otis and saved the day. 